There's no place in the world where wealth disparity is more evident than in Africa. Take the nation of Eswatini, for example. The country formerly known as Swaziland is incredibly impoverished, but Eswatini royals live in the lap of luxury. 63% of the people living in Eswatini earn less than $1 a day, and the country is in the midst of an economic crisis. Despite the rampant poverty and turmoil, King Maswati III has a vast fortune. His personal net worth was $200 million at the time of producing this video, and he controls a trust worth $10 billion. He owns private jets, expensive cars, and numerous palaces. This is how the Eswatini royal family spends their billions. Car ownership in Eswatini is incredibly low. There are just 32 cars per 1,000 people in the country, and most residents have no choice but to take public transportation. Cars are simply not an option when there's barely enough money to get by. King Maswati doesn't have that problem. His deep pockets have allowed him to amass an extremely expensive car collection. He's particularly fond of Rolls Royces. He doesn't just have one or two, he has a whole fleet of Rolls Royces. Needless to say, this doesn't sit well with much of the public in Eswatini. The King made headlines in 2019 when a truck full of luxury autos was caught driving across the South African border into Eswatini. We're not talking about a few cars here. The King imported 19 Rolls Royces and 120 BMWs, which caused quite an uproar. Many journalists in Africa called this news heartbreaking and shameless, and the King was accused of spoiling himself and ignoring the needs of his citizens. The massive fleet of Rolls Royces and BMWs came at an incredible cost, $24.4 million to be exact. When the King travels around the country, he usually does so in the back of a Rolls Royce. Whenever he attends festivals and ceremonies, the red carpet is always laid out. The King didn't purchase the $24.4 million fleet just for himself. The cars also were used by his 15 wives and 23 children. Yes, it's perfectly legal to have more than one wife. Polygamy is legal in the country, but it's rarely practiced by anyone other than the royal family. It's hard to determine exactly what kind of luxury cars are in the King's garage because his private life is closely guarded. However, we do know some of his favorite cars. He owns a Rolls-Royce Phantom worth $450,000. The powerful and expensive luxury saloon car is equipped with a 6.75-liter V12 engine that puts out 563 horsepower. Luxury cars don't get much more powerful than that. The Phantom can reach a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour and can go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 5.3 seconds. The King also owns a pricey Bentley Flying Spur, which cost approximately $214,000. That's practically pennies for the king because his annual salary is reportedly $50 million. The king's flying spur is equipped with a powerful 626 horsepower W12 engine. The car has a blistering top speed of 333 kilometers an hour and it can go from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in only 4.6 seconds. Bentleys are popular with royalty all over the world. The luxury car company even built two state limousines for Queen Elizabeth II's Golden Jubilee. We know that the King has at least 120 BMWs, including at least one BMW 760LI worth about $156,000. The car is equipped with a 6.6 liter V12 engine that puts out 600 brake horsepower. The speedy sedan can reach a top speed of 305 kilometers per hour and can go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in only 3.8 seconds. You'll also find a Mercedes-Benz W221 worth $180,000 in the King's Garage, as well as a $335,350 Rolls-Royce Cullinan. The Cullinan, which was specially customized to the King's exact specifications, has a 6.7-liter V12 engine that produces 563 horsepower. It can go from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.5 seconds and has a top speed of 243 kilometers per hour. The King also reportedly owns 20 Mercedes Maybach S600 Pullmans, a Maybach 62, and a BMW X6. There's no doubt that the King's car collection is worth millions, but it's hard to know exactly how much it's worth because he's banned photography of his vehicles. The King's private planes have led to a lot of controversies. His $20 million McDonnell Douglas MD-87 was allegedly given to him by an Indian mining company. The renovated MD-87 was used by the King for a number of years, but he has since upgraded to something newer and fancier. For his 50th birthday, the King bought himself a $16 million Airbus A34300. He purchased the private plane from China Airlines in Taiwan. There were reports that UNICEF warned the King that purchasing the plane would be a bad idea. The organization reportedly said that Eswatini might be ineligible to receive emergency funds if the King went through the purchase. Needless to say, this caused a huge uproar among the public. The Airbus A34300 has a range of 13,700 kilometers and can reach a top speed of 913 kilometers per hour. 
The king regularly uses the plane to travel all over Africa and meet with dignitaries across the globe. There are reports that up to $400,000 in food development aid promised to the Swaziland Red Cross had been lost due to the plane's purchase. The money was meant for seed and fertilizer for impoverished farmers. Eswatini is an absolute monarchy, so it's no surprise that the king has access to numerous extravagant palaces. The annual budget of the Eswatini royal family is about $61 million, and the king and his wives regularly spend millions redecorating their palaces. In 2004, the king gave one of his girlfriends $15 million to redecorate three of his palaces and build new palaces for each of his then 11 wives. The royal family spent an additional $4 million that same year to commission five brand new state homes. The king's most luxurious residence is the Lozitha Royal Palace. It's his primary residence and it's often used for political meetings with visiting dignitaries. The Lozitha Royal Palace is famous for its golden hallways, which are lined with red rose bouquets and crystal chandeliers. The palace has a massive golden conference room with ornate red and gold colored tapestries. The Lozitha Royal Palace isn't the only luxurious home that the king owns. Ludzenzini Palace, which is where the queen mother lives, is about 10 miles from Lozitha. It's the site of the annual reed dance ceremony and numerous other important festivals and celebrations. The king's palaces aren't the most valuable assets in his real estate portfolio. It's his farmland that's the most valuable. He actually owns 60% of the country's land, making him the largest owner in Africa. He owns 1 million hectares of farmland, and much of it is used by locals to grow crops and raise livestock. Farmers have no claim to the land even though they use it daily. The king can evict any citizen without having to support or compensate them in any manner. In addition to farmland, the king also owns thousands of cows and goats. Much of the livestock was given to him as dowries, and the animals are held in very high regard. He once famously said, treat livestock like you do your family. <laughs> the king's wives are also known to go on extravagant shopping sprees, and residents usually protest as the queen spend thousands on high-end fashion and luxury goods. The king's wives were spotted in Italy buying goods made by Versace, Tommy Hilfiger, and Burberry. One princess reportedly spent $820 on a fancy studded backpack, which caused plenty of outrage, as that's more than most residents make in a year. When the queen is seen in public, she's usually wearing a designer dress and diamond jewelry. The king's children spend much of their time traveling overseas. Los Angeles and London are some of their favorite spots, and two of the princesses even met Kid Cudi while partying in LA. The king hosts lavish parties for his children every year. The prince celebrated his 23rd birthday with an underwater themed party in Dubai, complete with divers and exotic fish. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the wealthiest monarch in Africa is King Mohammed VI of Morocco? At the time producing this video, he had a net worth of $8.2 billion. His vast fortune, which he inherited from his father, includes a 35% stake in holding company Almada. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for this channel for more great videos.